Welcome. I am Kinetic Symphony. I hunt down and report on mysterious and weird true stories, from glitches to the paranormal. Case file number 77, written by user Generic Shite 1337. Morning routine completed, coffee in hand. Wait a second, where did the sun go? This is a couple years ago. At the time, I typically woke up for work around 7 a.m. Just an average night without anything out of the norm. I set my alarm on my phone for the standard wake up time and went to sleep. Something to note, I always set my phone about 20 feet away, so it forces me to get out of bed and not just hit the snooze button over and over. Anyway, my alarm goes off and I get out of bed to shut it off. I proceed downstairs to the kitchen and get a pot of coffee going. I take a look outside. It's a nice sunny morning out and I see people driving down the road, probably heading to work. I take the morning pee and head back to the kitchen to prepare my cup of coffee. Honey and cinnamon in the coffee, by the way. It's delicious. Unfortunately, I have a nasty habit of smoking. Nothing goes better with a nice hot cup of coffee than a cigarette. So I go outside and partake, scrolling over the news and whatnot on my phone. I finish with my morning ritual, then proceed to grab a shower. After the shower, I head back to the kitchen and pour another cup of coffee. Next, I go back upstairs to my room to get dressed for work. When I get back upstairs, I notice that I don't see the sunlight coming through the window. I think, well that's odd, and walk over to get a closer look. I look out of the window and it's no longer morning, but it's night. I pause and think, what the heck is going on here? So I take a look at my phone and the time says 2.35 in the morning. At this point, I am in complete and utter confusion. I start to wonder if I dreamed everything I just did. Then it dawns on me. I still have the hot cup of coffee in my hand. I go back downstairs to check the coffee pot. It should still be on and have hot coffee in it. The coffee pot is empty and cold. I said to hell with trying to figure this out and just went back to bed. Woke up again around 7 and nothing else irregular happened. Pretty sure I traveled back in time about 6 hours or so. I'm curious to what y'all think. A portal, a glitch, I really have no clue to this day. Case Notes, file number 77. This may sound like a strange question, but did you feel tired at all when you realized it was 2.35 am? You did head back to sleep, so I am assuming the answer is yes. My thinking here is, if this was time travel, you probably wouldn't have been tired enough to head back to bed a second time, another 4 hours and 25 minutes. That's a lot of extra sleep. It could be you were just very tired, and indeed it was time travel and you just decided to go back to bed again, because you were just that tired. In which case, hey, you got to sleep in, <laughs> that's pretty cool. But if not, if you were well rested, it makes me wonder if this could be related to those glitches where people are frozen out of time and they appear later, only in this case it's backwards, you appeared backward in time. Hmm, very curious. What do you think? Case file number 78, written by user The Krusty Pancake. A voice beyond a voice, subconscious or an angel, whatever it was, saved their life. This happened to me about two months ago, but I still remember it very clearly. To start, I put the unidentified flare, though two people I told this to think it's some kind of angel or something looking out for me. Two months ago, I was driving alone to pick up groceries. The drive there is usually busy, with winding roads and a few blind turns. It's about a 15 minute drive to the store we like to go to. Halfway there, I was listening to loud music and I started to speed up a little bit. For some reason I unconsciously speed up when a loud or intense song plays. It also happened to be one of the blind turns. Idiot me, I know. The road was clear as much as I could see, but something audibly told me to slow down. Before you ask, no, it wasn't the song. The song was in one of those instrumental only parts, and I know the song by heart and no one speaks there. The whisper didn't sound like my voice in my head. It didn't sound male nor female. 
and it sounded like it came from behind me to the right. I wasn't scared when I heard it, but I listened and slowed down. If I didn't, I completely believe I would have been in a car crash since there was a stopped dark car hiding around the turn that I wouldn't have seen very well or at least soon enough. After that, you better believe I said WTF out loud. But I was more shocked and in disbelief rather than scared. Like, did that just happen? I still wonder what or who it was that possibly saved my life or someone else's. I've had no family close to me die, so I don't believe it was any deceased family member. Unless great grandparents still care to look out for me, even though I've never even met them or met them when I was a baby. Or if it was an angel. Side note, I was also shocked because I thought, did this happen to me? My grandmother and sister have both had paranormal experiences, but they were long before I was born. They always interested me so much, and though this may be seen as a small experience, I like to believe that at least I experienced something. Does anyone have any similar experiences or guesses as to what it might or who it might have been? Or if I'm just going crazy? Case Notes, file number 78. When you say that the voice you heard was neither male nor female, could you describe that further? As in, it was neither high nor low pitched, perhaps even very monotone. I've had voices that sound like nothing in a sense, yet I still hear it. It never told me anything of note, just thought it was random spurts from my subconscious, not a guardian angel event. But then again, I was never saved from a car crash that otherwise would have happened. That would change one's perspective, no doubt. The author responded to my comment, saying, Like the nothing you described. It had tone, like slight emotion. Like a calm yet urgent tone. But it was just a simple voice. It wasn't high or low. It's pretty hard to explain, but it was audible. Case file number 79. Written by user, various preference zero, as death approaches, a man is witnessed, unseen by anyone else. I work in IT, and so I'm constantly being pressed into action by friends and family to sort out any technology-related issues. About 10 years ago, I was visiting my parents and they mentioned that a friend of theirs was seriously ill. He had developed a motor neuron disease. Over a few months, he had become bedridden and unable to function. My mother mentioned that their friends relied heavily on their computers to communicate with people, sort out appointments and medication, and other groceries as they obviously could not leave the house. The computer had developed some problem and they asked if I wouldn't mind having a look at it. My dad and I went over to see them, and the man's condition was as it was described to me. He was in a bed in an alcove in the living room, in front of the TV. He had trouble speaking, though he could make himself understood, it just took him longer. I decided to reinstall the OS on their PC, and did so while my dad chatted to him and his wife about everything and nothing. I finished the IT task, but I needed a password to make sure they could get into their email. The lady didn't know, but the man was eventually able to communicate it to me, and it worked. They were very grateful. As we were about to leave, we were stood at the side of the bed, level with the man's head. He struggled to say something. We listened closely, eventually working out what he was saying. Who is at the end of the bed? The man in black. His wife assured him that there was only us there. I was thoroughly creeped out though, but we just said our goodbyes and left at about 6pm, heading back to my parents' house. Later that night, around 10.30pm, the phone rang, and when my mother answered it, I knew instantly what it was. Just a gut feeling. It was a wife ringing my mother to say the man had died within the last hour. Case Notes, file number 79. So did your parents' friend describe the man in any greater detail? A man in black, probably referring to what people see as a reaper. But there actually aren't that many cases described, not that I've read at least here. It would be harder to capture of course since they'd be secondary retellings from loved ones, not from the person being visited, because they are about to be taken onward, I guess you could say. I do know one thing, 
that sense of dread people on their deathbed is actually a medical condition, the sense of dread. But maybe indeed they see a man waiting to shepherd them onward, to another plane of existence. Maybe even crossing over between universes. I wonder how quantum immortality plays into this. Maybe quantum immortality actually depends on a shepherd. Although if there's no other bodies at all, in any other universe because of natural aging, eventually we're all gonna die in every single universe, I guess unless there's a, a cure for aging, which would be great. But yeah, if there's no other bodies, then what happens to our consciousness? Is there an afterlife beyond that? Maybe. The author responded briefly to my comment, saying, No more details to add. That question was pretty much how it ended. I've read that sense of impending doom is an actual symptom that doctors are taught to pay attention to. Kinda scary, isn't it? If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and feel free to watch more on my channel, I have a lot more content.